Landing on an aircraft carrier's flight deck is described as one of the most difficult things a Navy pilot will ever do. The biggest challenge of landing on a carrier is how tiny they are. A typical runway will range anywhere from 8,000 to 13,000 feet, but a carrier's deck is only 500 feet. That's not nearly enough runway for a jet traveling at 150 miles per hour to come to a stop, so jets designed for aircraft carriers come equipped with a tail hook. Exactly as the name suggests, this is a large metal rod with a hook at the end that extends out and down from the tail of the plane. When a jet comes in to land on a carrier, it will deploy its tail hook and try to catch one of the carrier's arresting wires with it. These high-strength steel wires are connected on either end to hydraulics that can absorb all the energy of the plane, essentially catching it and bring it to a stop. Pilots are also instructed to push their planes to full throttle as they attempt to land so that if their hook misses the arresting wires, they will have enough speed to take off and try again. 